All right, boys, this is going to be another long video filled with drama here today. I saw that Mr. Beast posted a new video, and... Mm. Wow, who could have known um, he was censoring hate comments? I mean, I feel like everybody would do that in this situation. And, you know, that just makes sense. But, like, he's dealing with all this stuff actually very well for a big corpo. He's not folding over a couple of people making allegations. And, obviously, he shouldn't be making children gamble. I don't think anybody would really support that, but... The thing is, he, like I said in my last video, he's running a corporation, so, like, doesn't really matter. He's gonna do it anyways, and he's gonna keep on doing stuff like that, but either way, he made a new video. It is honestly a banger, and, uh, I don't care what people say, really, about that one. It is honestly a banger. Fire-ass track. Oh, shit, I'm going against an absolute sweat. I'm getting sweated on, bro. No, bro. This guy had, bro. He's the 500 moon, isn't he? No, he's the... Yeah, he is the 500 moon, huh? Wow. Either way, um, you know, new video's kinda gas. He used AI in it or some shit, and it's like... Yeah, whatever. I don't really support AI that much. I think it's really stupid, and you should make stuff yourself, but, like... Guys, no, 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 no. He's associating with a child predator. Yeah, so... Either way... Mr. Jimmy Beast here handled the allegations honestly the best I would say anybody could. Um, if you address the allegations, people are just gonna say your apology is shit. And they're gonna say you suck. And, uh, if you ignore or duck the allegations, people are just going to say, Oh, he's ducking. This guy doesn't want to address it. Dude, you can't move on without addressing it. And, um, if you, like, reply with, like, No, I didn't do it. Hostile actions type stuff. People are going to just try to prove you wrong or something. I don't know. He made the best marketing decision by removing hate comments, letting the nine-year-olds... Uh, have their own uh, free peace of mind and watch his videos even though yeah I guess there's a pedophile in some of but they don't know that and Chris is not going to magically come back from uh, the grave of his infinite retirement uh, and start uh, finding more children on Mr. Beast's YouTube channel he's that's just not gonna happen that is literally a zero percent chance that will happen and Mr. Beast is not a pedophile I will stay. I will stay on that point till the grave. I don't care what allegations come out. Mr. Beast is not a pedophile. I don't care about the Discord messages. I don't give a shit. He's not a pedophile, and I guess he does do a little fraudulent actions with some of his, uh, you know, whatever this uh, dumbass gambling thing where he had like with the shirts. He had to like you had to do like this little like slot machine when you bought one. He's pretty funny. Um, honestly. Gambling is awesome. <laughs> you should try it out. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Yeah, it's not gonna do anything to his uh, reputation. It got uh, 13 million views and uh, uh, 1.4 million likes in an hour. Literally nothing will happen. Just, this is, see, this is exactly what I was saying. Nothing will happen. When uh, Mr. Mr. Jimmy Beast here, um, nothing will happen to him when he gets allegations. He's invincible to allegations. He did not even lose that many likes from the video. He lost almost none. Really, the allegations will do nothing to him. He has already made let's see, 13 million views. He's already made a couple million dollars off of that video. Um, so yeah. Nothing's gonna happen to Mr. Jimmy Beast over here, and uh, Chris Tyson is out of the company, so I honestly don't see a problem with any of that. And illegal gambling and stuff, uh, oh no, they talked about it all on the internet, which means now, um, Mr. Beast over here, um, the confidential files and the evidence, uh, that, 
uh, usually when you're in a criminal case, you would send to the federal court and it wouldn't be made public until your court-like case was published because they record those start to finish. Um, it, like they record transcripts on them. It would not be published until your court case is finished, but when you publish um, previously private evidence and information on the internet, the government cannot use it. That's there's just like that is just a thing. I learned that from a dude on YouTube talking about modern allegations and all this stuff. That is just a thing. The government cannot use stuff that's been made public domain because they have not, as the government, publicized your court case and your like defense and all this stuff against the other person, which means. Mr. Beast over here, literally, nothing can be done to him because, again, people just decide that it's the that it's better instead of taking him to court for illegal gambling and fraud, which is what he did, which would which is what would have actually affected him. They just posted it on a Twitter post and um, invalidated all of the evidence, so now nobody can do anything about it. Which honestly, I don't really even care about illegal gambling. I honestly, who cares? But, uh, either way, now the government can't do anything, so now, don't worry guys, we have our gladiatorial heroes, all the Twitter stands. Uh, they're gonna do stuff for us, they're gonna dislike Mr. Beast's videos. That's, that's gonna, uh, get the kids' parents' money back, it's gonna, yeah, that's, that's what's gonna do it. Um, either way, overall, it's a really, um, stupid situation, and... I don't understand why people are so hyped up over it. It's literally... This dude literally is just... Like, it's just fraud. Who cares about fraud? And also, who cares about fraud even more if you post all your evidence on the internet and make it so a court case cannot be formed. And nothing can be done about it. It's the same with, like, abuse situations and stuff. It's like, I see this stuff and I'm like, Man, oh man, what do we got today? Um... Another abuser, this guy, Wilbur Soot. Oh, look, here's all of the previously private evidence that's now been publicized. Um, and then, like, you know, Shelby did a live stream or whatever, crying, and like, yeah, I support her. I don't... This is whatever, I, su I support her. But then it's like, you know, she posted all these documents and stuff, like, full of evidence of their texts and stuff and all these allegations, and... Now none of that can be used in court because it's public domain and there's not been a court case made so a court, ca court case transcript and uh, video footage cannot be made and then publicized on court records because all the evidence that they're going to put into the court case is already public so it's invalid, you can't use it. Um, yeah, either way, I'm thinking since this is probably going to be a big video series, I'm going to do even more research on that. I'm not just going to like trust the... I mean, like, it's a trustworthy YouTuber short s source, right? Like, I got them off of a video just talking about like, modern allegations. They had, like, evidence and everything. But I need to look it up for myself and get the irrefutable proof, proof in the U.S. laws. But either way, Mr. Beast is just going to keep on posting, and you guys legitimately cannot do anything to him now because you posted all of your evidence, like... Let's see, that was 450-something thousand Discord messages of Mr. Beast and Chris talking with little kids sexually, and you posted it all on the internet, which means not even a singular page or word of that can be used in the uh, court of law. So, like, all of it is just public domain. Everybody can look at it and just be like, wow, Mr. Beast likes kids, that's so bad, dude, and then just move on with their day. That's, yeah, that's, that's all you can do. Uh, same with all the stuff about, like, um, you know, the, like, Mr. Beast gambling website you get from the shirts and stuff. All the videos of that and stuff were made public. The videos and the evidence were made public, and now that can't be used either. So, Mr. Beast lawyers are probably just, like, sitting back in their seats laughing, knowing they're gonna get a fat load of cash from him again, and they're not gonna have to do anything to defend him, because it's literally so easy. Why... Is it asking to vote a map again? What? It's just... <laughs> whatever. It's just too easy for Mr. Beast. This is like the easiest win in his career, dude. Like... He can literally... Do whatever. Doesn't matter. You know, womp womp for all the people accusing him. All this stuff is out on the internet. He can just keep on posting videos. And most of the people that watch him... 
aren't even old enough to have Twitter or Discord, which, like, I miss those days, you know? I, I miss I miss when I didn't have to look at all this stupid shit every day. Most people aren't old enough to have that. So, they'll just keep on watching Mr. Beast videos. And that proved tried and true, because if you look at this here, Mr. Beast's... Okay. Take a look at this here. Mr. Beast's newest video, right? Let's see where it's at right now. Guys. 15 million views. I just built I'm gonna get obliterated by his lawyers, just like all the people on the internet. Um... Yeah, look, he even got a... Oh, wow, he got a sponsor, too. Why the hell am I in a Souls RNG? What is going on with my computer? Oh, it's because I had private servers open in my browser. Yeah, my bad, chat, my bad. Um, yeah, see, 15 million views. He posted it about uh, four hours ago now. He gained, like, um, four million subs from this. 1.3 million likes. I'll like it, too, because I honestly don't give a shit what... Twitter thinks about Mr. Beast, even if he is like a pedophile or something, I don't really care. Um, which he isn't, he was just in the same Discord server as Chris when he's doing all that weird stuff, and he probably doesn't even endorse it or really care what Chris is doing in general. He's kind of there just trying to run a YouTube channel and run a business, you know? It's what he's been doing this whole time, and that's what he's gonna keep on doing. He's gonna run a business. If, um, the CEO of a business you're working for has been outed as a pedophile at work. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about that? Are you gonna fire the CEO? Are you gonna cancel the CEO and then he's gonna quit his job and uh, go live on the streets because uh, he touched a little kitty once? Is that, is that what's gonna happen? It's the exact same thing with YouTube channels. YouTube channels are businesses, and people aren't, most of the time, I guess, like, they don't have good enough morals where they're just going to disappear because there's been allegations made about against them or, like, stuff about them has came out. They aren't just going to stop, like, like, that is their business, that is their livelihood. And no sane person would stop their livelihood just to be a better person. Everybody wants money over a public image. That's just, that is just the truth. And... If my channel blows up in like five years and everybody sees this, I, I still agree with that. That is just the truth. YouTube channels are a business and everybody's just trying to make a fat load of cash. And they don't care what they have to do to do that. So if old stuff about them comes out, it doesn't matter to them. Even new stuff about them comes out. It does not matter, bro. Literally, there's just no point for any of this Twitter stuff. If you really want uh, injustice, if you want justice to be served to somebody that, like, did some crazy stuff, um, like this Chris dude, then you've got to collect your evidence, keep it private, bring it to court, and show it to an actual prosecutor, not just some random 45-year-old girl from, like, Seattle, Washington. You have to go show it to a prosecutor and a court, and you have to make a court case if you want that person to get in trouble. Like, think about this. If none of Mr. Beast's evidence was public domain, people could sue him for, like, tens of millions of dollars right now. Like, as a group, we could sue him for tens of millions of dollars, or get him even, like, put in prison, or, like, get the rights of his channel taken away. But, because you posted everything, public domain, now you can't do that. Like, I honestly think, after seeing all the stuff with Mr. Beast, his channel should have been taken down. But the reason I'm saying he can just keep doing what he's doing is because he can. Because all the evidence is public, and his channel can just stay up forever. He can keep making videos, and I'm honestly going to keep watching them. If Mr. Beast's channel was taken down, I would keep watching his videos, just like with any other channel that I like. Just like with Wilbur Sith, I kept watching his videos, because they're funny, and I separate art from artists. I still listen to Kanye West, I still, it just doesn't matter to me, and I don't think it should matter to anybody. I think, honestly, besides, you know, like, racism and homophobia and everything, our ideals in the 60s were, uh, pretty fire, and, uh, I stand by that, so, either way, 
pretty crazy stuff going on here. All this dumbass stuff with people just, like, ruining any chance at actually getting anything done with, like, Mr. Beast, like, making little kitties gamble and stuff. All that stuff is just, like, out the window. Um, I can tell you right now exactly what's gonna happen with the Mr. Beast situation. He's just gonna remove Chris Tyson, and he's going to keep making videos, and he's gonna put an auto mod on his comments to blur any hate comments. That is literally all that's gonna happen. There's not gonna be any big difference. He's not gonna, like, apologize. And if he does apologize, it's not gonna be what you guys want. It's just gonna be a half-hearted apology that was made by his PR team. And that is it. That's all you're going to get. And his videos will keep getting views, and he will keep making money. And there's no way to stop that now. Because all of the evidence has been publicized. That is... That is just the end of the story right there. There's nothing else to it. And people still seem to think there's a need to talk about the situation. I bet there's going to be a lot of videos about his new video tonight, and he's still posting, and all. Oh, it's so scandalous. But, like, he's just running a company, man. Uh, he was trying out a strategy, and he realized, yeah, maybe I shouldn't make the little kitties gamble. And then he stopped doing that, and uh, people figured it out a couple years later, even though I already knew he made kids gamble with his shirts. And I already knew he scripted multiple of his videos. It's super obvious. I've known that for years. His videos are scripted. And scripting videos is just the meta. Um, it gets you more views. It makes your videos more in-depth. It makes everything you want to happen happen. It's like you make your vision come true exactly how you want it. You don't improv and any of that. And improv is fun sometimes. But exactly what you thought of in your mind when you thought of a video, that gets put out the plot line and everything. I think scripting is fine. With challenges like that, even so, yeah, I, I feel like it was pretty obvious his challenges were scripted. Remember like all the Mac videos where like he'd lose at like one second and then after like the fourth video where they milked him for views, he'd finally win and like, oh my God, who could have known? Stuff like that. For real? I don't know why people are still talking about this, I don't know why people are still making allegations about this, but I kind of like to talk about it, and I kind of like to um, be the only one making videos where it's not like, guys, Mr. Beast is done for, God, he's not, <laughs> he's, he's not, um, everybody's gonna keep watching him, and he's gonna lose maybe like one one hundredth of his viewers that are actually conscious and aren't like seven years old. Yeah, besides that, I've been working on uh, the Island series. I've been um, playing a whole lot of Souls RNG since the update came out. Pretty awesome. Uh, I hope they do a Mr. Beast update soon because he loves gambling. Uh, that'd be pretty fire. Um, maybe you'd bring like we'd bring back like the uh, slot machine and put it in like the corner of the map, like the slot machine from the uh, website. That'd be pretty funny. I just feel like a lot of YouTubers need to be more like Jay Schlatt. Like, if Jay Schlatt actually got canceled, he'd probably just be like, I don't give a shit. He'd make a video like, I don't care. And then he'd just keep on uploading, and nobody in his fan base would care. People literally make jokes about him murdering multiple people in 1999, and somebody has made like a whole board of all the things he did in 1999. And nobody cares. It's hilarious. Everybody loves YouTubers like that. And we need more like that. And with my whole 60 subscribers, that's what I'm striving to be. But I'm also making cool documentaries and stuff. And, um... I think eventually, maybe I should, like, do some really effed up stuff. And then, like, have it, like, revealed about me 10 years later. And then, and then she's like, no, I don't care. That'd be pretty funny. Mr. Beast situation is pretty crazy. I made, uh, three videos on this. I just can't stop talking about cancel culture and um, how useless it is and how it makes pretty much any court case invalid. And it's basically just a bunch of people yapping. Uh, nothing can be done. Like, n nothing can be done to the people that are doing the canceling. Or the people that are getting the canceling, I guess. Nothing can be done to them. It's just like, kind of said and done. You say all your stuff on Twitter and uh, yeah, that's that's kind of it there, you know, it's kind of whatever, you said your piece, um, and yeah, just keep on going on with making content, um, if you leave the internet, people will still hate you, 
if you stay on the internet and make videos, people will hate you. If you address the allegations, people will hate you. If you don't address them, people will hate you. So, either way, I'd just say don't um, care about what anybody says on the internet and uh, what the modern standards of, like, being good to bad person is, like, you know, like, hating on furries and, like, not personally um, liking gay people. I think everybody should be accepted, but if your brain capacity maybe isn't big enough to accept certain groups of people or you just don't want to and you don't understand it and you don't get it and you like just really hate them just because you don't understand as long as you aren't aggressive about it and try to change other people's opinions then it literally doesn't matter i don't think yeah i could care less i don't think we need to turn people either way same thing with like democracy and republicans and stuff we don't need to turn people either way Everybody's got the right to their own opinion, and um, as long as you're not beating anybody else up to join your side, or like doing weird riots and shit like that, then you're kind of good. Anyways, that's another yap session. I think that's like episode 5 or something, and another 20 minute episode, because I'm just so good at yapping. Uh, guys, I'm gonna go to a party later. Yeah.